By now, the GS was a mature world traveling bike and it had evolved considerably, but the evolution wasn't about to stop. Throughout the 90s, BMW continued to evolve the GS motorcycle, releasing a redesigned four valve boxer with a telelever suspension in 1993 and a sportier and more aggressive 1150 by the end of the decade. The last of the two valve boxers rolled off the production line in December of 1996. In 1993, BMW returned a single-cylinder model to the market with the F650 Funduro. Although BMW had produced single-cylinder bikes before, this was the first BMW ever produced with a chain drive. Although it was initially perceived as a somewhat less capable version of the larger GS, all of that changed when the bike was used in the 1999 Paris to Dakar Challenge. The modified BMW 650RR won the race two years in a row. Not only that, but BMW swept first through fourth place in the 2000 race. Experience and knowledge gained at the Paris Dakar Rally eventually led to the engineering concepts used on the F650 GS Dakar and the new R1200 GS. Although BMW had pulled out of competitive racing after their win at the Paris Dakar, the world of adventure touring was booming. More and more riders were expanding their horizons and exploring ever distant lands on their GS motorcycles. Motorcycle adventure touring have changed tremendously and more and more people are doing it today. You go on the internet and Google motorcycle adventure GS riding, you get tons of web pages dedicated to it, people that are sending reports all the time. I can see the BMW bikes too, they have changed with that and gotten better and better all the time. BMW answered the demand by continuing to improve their GS motorcycles throughout the decade releasing a completely updated version of the GS in 2004. In fact, the R1200 GS is the most successful motorcycle in BMW Motorrad's history, proving that the GS has indeed withstood the test of time. When I first got my R80 GS in 1981, I thought it can't get better than this. Well, it got better. It got more beefier, more horsepower, stronger forks, better suspension. And now here we are with fuel injection and we have, I can sit with the press of a button to change my suspension. It's incredible. And most of the changes though that I mostly enjoy, it's not just the horsepower, it's how it handles. And the proof has been up through the years. You've seen it over and over again. Editors in magazines around the world are praising the DS. In 2005, BMW introduced a competition-worthy production boxer, the HP2. Designed with harder-edged off-road use in mind, the HP2 weighs in at just 175 kilograms and comes with a 1,200cc boxer engine that's good for 105 horsepower. The HP2 is the most uncompromising production off-road boxer of all time and BMW is once again at the forefront of off-road events. In 2009, the range was expanded with the introduction of the F800 GS middleweight sports enduro, which is also destined to become one of BMW Motorrad's best-selling machines. Riding in the dirt, it's been in our blood since the beginning. Almost 60 years of off-road experience went into the first GS motorcycle, and another 30 years of further development have brought us the GS motorcycles of today. When the R80 GS first came out in 1980, 30 years ago, I saw it and I thought it was the coolest ever. But I also thought, when is the competition gonna kick in here? When are they gonna come and uh, come up and at least meet what the BMW GS is doing. But for some reason, that nobody been able to match what the BMW is uh, making. So it's going to be very curious to see uh, how this is going to carry on into the future. And if we look back uh, in 10, 15, 20 years, uh, how that legacy is carrying on. 
people buy a GS motorcycle for lots of different reasons, but riders of BMW Motorrad's legendary Enduro all share a common desire to travel further off the beaten track and to experience more unusual and interesting places than ordinary riders. When it comes to long distance, rough terrain, and serious adventure travel, no other motorcycle comes close to matching the ability of the all-conquering BMW GS.